Hello everyone and welcome back to Perfect Dark. Last night we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A data dying team had taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast. And they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the data dying hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Data Dine squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line. Alright. We're going to the tropics. Uh, we will have to save that lady, though. Luckily. Uh, I have a sniper rifle. Unfortunately... I am an awful shot. <laughs> Alright. One objective down already. It's been like 30 seconds. Hey, man. <laughs> Run, bitch! That man was going prone. Nice try, though. Pew! Going through the caves. Hello! Oh, that's that's a boom. That's a big boom. Why are all these guys going prone? It's not a very good strategy. No one's gotten me yet. He sees me. Nope. Nope. What is happening? This is such a weird scope system. so touchy. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Holy hell. It's so sensitive when you're scoped in. There we go. Alright, you all probably need the sniper again. Did I get him? Woo! Nice try, suckers! Can't catch me. I'm mother heckin' Joanna Dark. Take this to the foyer. Careful. There we go. Snipers have been eliminated. You're welcome. Alright, let's try going downstairs through the building. See a guy over there. What's well, a nice time for a snooze? Seriously? Oh. <laughs> oh man, I made so much noise and wasted so much ammo. Okay. Um, I think I need to go this way. Hey, gentlemen, what are we looking at? A locked door, apparently. <gasps> Ooh, a secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! It's not very secret, is it? Ah! Wow. Luckily, he's a terrible shot. Nope. Stop that alert. That was, uh, that was just, uh, we're all fine here now. Thank you. H how are you? Whoa. Whoa. Spicy. Um, okay. I think that door's locked. Oh, follow the floor, idiot. Nope! No alert! Stop that! You're out of your league! <laughs> You're out of your league! Oh man, that's such a great taunt. 
Oh, that's so good. Cooling systems have been activated. Power systems have been activated. That ought to do something, right? Objective 2 completed. Nope, this is wrong. Now we go this way? Yeah. There's someone I'm a coming. It's locked. How about this way? Oh, I remember this room. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to take the time to do it. But if you shoot every single bottle in here, you get a message over the radio that's like, "Act your rage, Joanna." Wow, what a what a tactic! I see you. But you have to destroy every single bottle, and it's kind of time-consuming. So, maybe another time. Sir, are you injured? No, Joanna, I'm okay. But those Datadyne thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Cow. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carroll told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Datadyne team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois tonight. I want you to be there. That doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did. And I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Datadyne. Woo! Alright, on to the next. We suspect the G5 Corporation is just a front for Datadyne and whoever else is involved in this plot. I know Cassandra de Vries is going to be here. I need to know who else is attending and what they can come. By the time you get out, the help I requested should have arrived. Just who is this help you keep referring to? Not now, Joanna. Time for radio silence. Good luck. Great. Hey, how you doing? CIA. Weird. Oh! Can't believe that man shot at me. I'm just a woman trying to make her way through the. Oh God! What is that? Ah! Oh! Please go away! Oh my god. It is not dying. Urgh. I can't even get close to it! Uh. Come here! Come here! Urgh. Okay. Failed?! Well, uh, here we go. There he is. Uh, it's not so much stealth as much as it is do exactly as we want you to do, or else uh, you'll just fail outright. Gentlemen, I'm not robbing you. He's got a gun! <laughs> All right. So there's that drone out there, uh, which is unfortunate because I don't believe I can kill it. All right. So we're 
we're gonna drop down here, grab that. Gotcha! Okay. Oh, there's another. Hey, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. Stealth down. I am silent. Okay. Go taxi, go. All right, do your thing. These guys are still hanging out. Give that some time to uh, resolve itself. All right, there we go. Whew. I thought that was going to take me a lot more tries than uh, it did. Yippee ki -yay! Oh, sick move! <laughs> it's such a small room. You gonna follow that up, Joanna? Oh, fuck me. F what the hell is this? Am I fighting the Predator? There we go. Okay, I think I got both of them. What? What? Idiot nerd. No, 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 no! Damping field generator shut down. Yeah, it's... It's totally what I came in here for. I need to take pictures of some sort of meeting. I don't like the sound of laser grid. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Must be the meeting room up ahead. Time to use the cam spy. Ooh, I did it! We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? Oh, he's so cool looking. Not that guy. The guy with the scar. Chick 2. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go. And we will move as soon as the presidential honorage arrives. <laughs> Honorage. Honorage. <laughs> Assume you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good. Because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. <laughs> Who is this Dolph Lundgren man? 
The turtleneck and lab coat uh, combo is really working for him, I gotta say. Okay. Activate the alarm. Nope. Don't do that. This looks right. Woo! All right. Let's switch to this. We got a ton of ammo for it. Safe's heavily encrypted. The decoder's gonna take a little longer. All right. Nope, not the camp spy. Well, all right, one minute. Let's do it. Should I be in here or should I be? How about I, I'll stay in this little, uh, this room and I'll fall back if I need to. Try and hang out in the doorway so it doesn't close. Imposter! Imposter! He's playing Among Us! That guy, that guy just noped right out of there. <laughs> He's like, ooh, yikes, that was a lot of dead bodies. That was a lot of my coworkers that are back there. Ooh, this is this is dicey. Ooh. Door decoder finished. Can I take this back? Ooh boy, look at them all. Isn't that a BAFTA? Ooh. Oh no! Don't be sus! Jesus. <laughs> so many people. Just a sea of bodies. Oh, but we made it out. Ooh, nice spin move. Agent Dark reporting in, prepare to receive a download of a meeting data. Priority request for an institute support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The cloud carrying those friends I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was fired from Area 51. No fucking way. Survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Coming to now. Area 51? But what about the president? <laughs> it's above your pay grade, Joanna. All right, uh, sounds like we're going to deal with some frickin' aliens, so tune in next time, because this is going to be a real treat. Bye!